Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Derek and I cover Python programming tutorials. In this one, we're continuing our algorithm series and looking at the quick sort algorithm. Let's jump over to an animation to see how this one works. The quick sort algorithm takes an unsorted sequence and sorts it out in either ascending or descending order. We'll be working in ascending order for this example. We start off by taking one item in our unsorted sequence and making that our pivot point. In this example, we're taking the last item from our unsorted sequence and that becomes our pivot. The pivot is just the number that we want to base the comparisons of all the other numbers off of. We begin iterating through the rest of the values in our unsorted sequence. If a number is less than our pivot number, then it goes into one list, and if it's higher, then it goes in the other. We'll go through all the values in this way until we reach the end of our unsorted sequence. We don't have to use the last number of our unsorted sequence as the initial pivot point. We could have used the first number, the middle number, or something like the median of all three of those numbers. Once we reach the end of our sequence, we now know that the initial pivot point has been successfully sorted. So we'll move everything back up and lock that initial pivot point down. Now we're left to sort the values in the two lists that we just created. How we can do this is apply the same method again. So since we're using the last number as the pivot point, we'll take the last number from each of these two new lists and use that as the pivot point to sort out its own list values. We're starting to see how important it is to select good pivot values. The perfect algorithm would take each unordered sequence and subsequence and split those values directly in half. Of course, it's a lot easier to say that than to apply it in practice when you're dealing with very large data sets. Talking through our animation, we see that the 7 was unable to break up those two higher values in the list. Therefore, we had to do another iteration, whereas the other side, since we were able to split those values, we can say that their links are equal to 1 and they're already sorted. At the worst case scenario, our complexity would be n squared. However, at a more average case, it would be more likely n log of n. If you would like to try to code this on your own, pause the video here and come back. We'll jump into the Python solution for this one now. We'll open up a text editor, and like all my other algorithm videos, I'll try to code this in a way that makes sense to a beginner. We could definitely optimize this, but let's focus on understanding the logic first. We'll create our function. We'll say our function name will be quick sort, and this will take in a sequence of unsorted values. The first thing we need to think about is what we'll be applying this to. We'll be applying this to the first sequence that we pass in, and then also the subsequences that we create. We only want to apply it to them, though, if they have a length greater than 1. So let's calculate that length now. We'll say length will be the length of the sequence. Now we'll say if the length is less than or equal to 1, we'll just return the sequence. This bit of logic just allows us to skip over sequences that have a length of 1 or 0. For everything else, we'll put an else statement. Now we need to define our pivot. So we'll say pivot will be equal to the sequence dot pop. What the pop method does is remove that last element and also return it. Now that we have our pivot, let's go ahead and create the two lists that we can move an item to once we compare it to our pivot point. We'll go down and drop out the else statement. We'll say items greater, and this will just be a list. We'll do the same thing for items lower, and this will be a list as well. Now we need to do a comparison on each of the items left in the sequence to our pivot point. We can do that by saying for every item left in our sequence, left in our sequence, if the item, item is greater than our pivot point, we want to append this item to that list that is greater than. We can do that by saying items greater dot append and we'll append item. Now we'll do the same thing for the lower items. We'll go down and say else. So this will also include the items that are equal. So else items lower dot append and we'll append the item. Now what we need to do is to apply this algorithm over and over to each of the sublists that we create. We'll do this with a return statement. We'll go down and say return, and then we'll call in that algorithm. So this is quick sort. In our first one, we'll take the items lower. We'll concatenate our pivot point. So we'll say pivot, and now we'll say the function again. We'll say quick sort, and this one will take the items greater. So what we're saying is that our return should apply this algorithm again to each of the items lower. We should have that pivot point in the center, and then we apply the algorithm again to the items greater. So this will do it over and over until our logic breaks. So now we just need to test it out. We'll say print 
quick sort. We'll pass in some numbers. You can use whatever you would like here, but I'll just type in some random ones. We'll save the file and open up a terminal. And I'll execute mine by typing in python3 quicksort.py. Once we get back the result, we see that we've sorted this using the quicksort algorithm. The quicksort algorithm outperforms other sorting algorithms due to that n log n complexity. That's why many people prefer to use this one and that's their go-to. If you have any questions or comments about this script, please let me know. Until next time.